In this tutorial, I will show you how you can make these super fancy, awesome, good looking hoof shoes just made out of warbler and craft foam. Wow, that was a pretty good intro. <laughs> So I'm working with pony boots, which I got from Amazon, but you also can just use a regular high heel and cut off the heel. And for example, you put some wood under it. It's up to you what you're using, but in my opinion, it's much easier to work with pony boots. To create the pattern, I just wrapped my shoe into foil and afterwards I covered it in duct tape. Wow, that was pretty fast. Now I draw the outline of the heel. Is it right? I, I don't know. Sorry, my English is pretty well. I know bad English. You are smart, you get it, right? Mark the middle of the front. And cut it out. Okay, we fold it in half and trace it onto paper. Okay, now comes the most important part. We had to draw two lines. They must be a little bit angled. It is really important that the bottom line is longer than the top line. And afterwards, we connected them. In the end, this will be the longer part and this is the shorter part. But I think I explained it pretty bad. So I will show you on the paper dummy what I mean. This is what it will look in the end. Wait, cool. I transferred my pattern onto craft foam and now the only thing that we had to do is to cover it in warbler. When you press the warbler together, be really careful because it could be really hot. Cut off the extra material. Boom, you ended up with it. Okay, and now we had to bring everything in shape. I had to heat up the warbler again and then I shaped everything with a Nuva. Or a Geodreieck. <laughs> okay, this part took quite a while, but please take your time. Uh, it is worth it. I hope so. So, here we go. I think it looks pretty good. Close enough. This step now is up to you. Because I want to have more texture in my hoof to make it more realistic, I decided to burn it in with my uh, lovely soldering iron. Afterwards, I used my dremel to get rid of the extra material. It is also up to you, but I think it looks, it looks better. Now we are doing the attachment. I just uh, screw some screws in it. That is much easier than I expected it will be. <laughs> okay, never mind. Good girl. You can also use just more screws, but in my opinion, these two are totally enough. Okay, now we cover up the back side. I'm not gonna lie, nobody will see it, so I doesn't really care how it looks like. It looks pretty messy. Okay, afterwards I start priming my hoofshoe. I used wood glue because I had it at home, but you can use any primer you want. Then I base colored my hoof black because it matches my soul pretty well, or because I painted my hoof grey later. So I'm using a sponge to apply my color because I thought it would be really awesome texture, but uh, yeah, sadly I used too much paint for it. So I'm not gonna lie, at this point I had no idea how to paint something and I never heard about dry brushing. But later on I dry brushed my horns, they are made out of formula as well. And I think the paint job on the horns looks much better, in my opinion. So um, I sanded off the extra material, or the extra paint. And then it looks like this. And then I finished everything with a glossy primer. Yeah, that's it. You just have to choose if you want to cover your shoe with the leggings, with fake fur, or like me with an old sock where I put some fake fur over it. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Bye!